Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com and in this video we will review logarithms. Many natural phenomena vary as a power function, a sub x, so that they display exponential change or growth over widely measurable ranges of the exponent x. We as engineers are therefore interested in the value of this exponent, x, which is called the logarithm. Often when we are analyzing power functions in the form y is equal to a to the x, it is the y that is the known value and the exponent x is the value that we wish to determine. So in order to determine x, we must rearrange the equations so that it is in the form x is equal to f y, which turns out to be the inverse of a power function and is called the logarithm, written as x is equal to log a base a y, where y is known as the argument. When encountering logarithms, there are many rules that we can use to simplify the process of solving for the required information. So let's go through a couple of those rules. When we see the argument of a logarithm as a product of two numbers, say log base a of y times z, it can be rewritten as the sum of the two logarithms, such as log base a of y times z is also equal to log base a of y plus log base a of z. Now for example, say we're given a problem of uh, log 6 3 times 2 this can also be written as log base 6 times 3 plus log base 6 2 now when an argument of a logarithm is a quotient of two numbers say log base a of y divided by z this can be rewritten as the difference of the two logarithms such as log base a w minus log base a z and so we could use the same uh, numbers as we did before say we're given log base 6 of 3 divided by 2 this can also be equal to or is equivalent to log base 6 uh, 3 minus log base 6 2. So what about when an argument of a logarithm is a power of two numbers say log base a times uh, b to the y. Well this can be rewritten as the difference of the multiple of the logarithm such as log base a uh, b to the y is also equal to y log base a b. Now we can illustrate this by looking at uh, log base 6 uh, 3 to the fifth. Um, writing this out we got log base 6 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 five times and this if we go over to here plays out to log 6 3 plus log 6 3 plus on and on for five terms so all we need to do is know that uh, this is a common term repeated five times so we just pull 5 which in this case would be the y out in front of the log and its equivalent so we got y log a to the b 
or 5 log a to the to uh, with 3 so now that now that because any number raised to the power of 1 is equal to itself if you recall a raised to the 1 is equal to a then the following logarithm logarithmic identity always holds true log a log to base a of a is equal to 1 on the other hand because any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so a to the 0 is equal to 1 we know that from our power function uh, tutorial um, the following logarithmic identity is always true log base a 1 is equal to 0 now in all mathematical studies the base 10 logarithm is very important and is called the common logarithm and typically the subscript after the log is dropped so to illustrate that we typically see that say we're given the logarithm x is equal to log base 10 of y this is also rewritten as the common logarithm as log simply as log y now so if we see log by itself it is naturally a base 10 problem now another base that naturally shows up in math is the transcendental number e which is equal to um, e is equal to 2.7182 blah 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 keeps going um, and as we discussed in the power functions tutorial the power of this base is equal to its own derivative so we got say we have the function e to the x uh, that derivative dy dx is also equal to e to the x so when e is the base of a logarithm it is better known as the natural logarithm typically abbreviated ln so to d illustrate this say we're given the uh, logarithm x is equal to log uh, e y this can be rewritten as the natural log of y so graphically we typically see uh, we typically see um, logarithms take the form something like that and that's just general so visually speaking we can see now why logarithm functions are used when we discuss slow growth measurements so that's it guys that's logarithms a quick review of the rules of logarithms and just how to work with them um, if you guys have any questions head on over to engineer and training exam.com shoot me a contact uh, give me some feedback either here on the YouTube channel or over there um, over private email um, I answer all the emails that I get because my aim is to help you guys out in any way that I'm able so I hope I'm doing that I'm providing value if you guys have any suggestions don't hesitate to contact me so we'll be talking soon guys you guys have a great day alright take care bye